Welcome to the Stevie X channel. Yes, I am back. Yeah, I've got my energy back. Have you noticed? As you guys should know, I did take a break off YouTube for a very, very long time. And I was actually through most of 2020. The reason for that is I wasn't in the mood to upload. I had no fire in me. Everything just seemed to go to shit. And it did. 2020 went to shit. Today we are looking at Barcroft TV. It's now called Truly, they've renamed it, but I prefer Barcroft, you know what I'm saying? Today's video is on I'm becoming a tattooed vampire. Hooked on the lock. Right. Right, how to become a vampire? I mean, the first thing is to have fangs. Um, I mean, I've never seen a vampire with tattoos before, but you know, it's the 21st century. So anything is, is possible, especially becoming a vampire. Yeah, I mean, I thought in 2016 I would lose my virginity, but look here, I'm still a fucking virgin. Which is an amazing achievement, especially at my age of 19. You know what I'm saying? Let's continue with the video because I know I'm just boring the fuck out of you right now, aren't I? I transform my body to look like a vampire. It's immortal, often, it's people who stay very young for a long time. L'esthétique du vampire aussi, je trouve ça magnifique. Je suis prêt à prendre des risques pour mon look. Right, now, so I kind of noticed the similarity between him and his costume. And I kind of compared it to Billy Ray Cyrus. The similarities are uncanny. I mean, come on, look at the pictures. Billy Ray Cyrus and this random dude who's trying to be a vampire. You've got to see my point of view. I mean, it's worse than when I dyed my hair black to become an emo in school. Yes, many of my school friends and people who went to my school will remember an emo kid with black hair. Basically, he looked depressed as fuck. Yeah. It's clear. Hello, baby. Hello, bon matin. Bon matin. Tu veux un petit café? Ouais. C'est ça comme ça. Ouais. On pourrait faire genre des photos aujourd'hui, ça sera nice, non? Ouais, vraiment. Genre de quoi de. Very intense indeed. Especially pictures. They can be very intense. Depending on what type of pictures you take. I'm not saying I've taken any inappropriate pictures in my time. Shit. <laughs> I've got my own personal experience. I've taken some very intense pictures. Oh yes. Ladies, hit me up in the DMs. Add my Snapchat. Because this shit is gonna get crazy. Quand même intense. Ouais, quand même. <rire> mon nom est Philippe. Mais mon nom d'artiste est London. Je suis artiste tatoueur, je suis artiste maquilleur et je suis artiste performeur. That's incredible. His nickname is London. And he dresses up as a fucking gangster from London. Now, come on guys, you can't tell me that that isn't impressive. What I'm thinking though is he may want to be the devil himself. Now, I've had zero experience with Satan. I never want experience with Satan. Um, I mean, I've done some very questionable things related to Satan. En fait, je me suis fait faire des modifications corporelles euh, au scalpel. J'ai fait euh, stretching. Oh my god! Oh my god! What have you done to your fucking ears? Oh! That must hurt! Oh my god! How? Just how? That's fucking huge! <laughs> fucking huge. <laughs> no, but that. Oh my god! Jesus, imagine someone putting their finger in, oh, imagine someone putting their finger, I'm sorry, I need to fucking stomach myself, imagine someone putting their finger and ripping your earlobe, oh my god, oh I can't, this is, this is gonna get too much for me now, I swear. Mes oreilles, j'ai fait stretcher mon nez, j'ai fait stretcher ma lèvre au scalpel aussi. Ensuite, j'ai eu une restructuration euh, du visage pour la mâchoire. J'ai comme, mettons, euh, 
60, 70% de mon corps qui est tatoué pour l'instant. It's totally fine if you want to get your entire body tattooed, it's your choice at the end of the day. But I'm just going to say this, if you're going to tattoo your face, don't put too many tattoos on your fucking face. Because otherwise you're just going to look like a complete mess. And not, I'm, I'm sorry I'm going to say this, I am so sorry, but not many people are going to employ someone with a, a shitload of tattoos on their face. That's the truth. And I've got no tattoos and I still can't get employed. Okay. That sounded incredibly bad. Fuck Luke, you're getting really fucking terrible today, aren't you? En fait, euh, j'aimerais ça avoir euh, des canines, me faire faire les, les implants pour avoir des canines de vampire. Ça, ça fait vraiment, vraiment, vraiment longtemps que je veux ça. Probablement quelques fillers dans le visage aussi pour changer la morphologie, avoir une morphologie peut-être un peu plus euh, en squelettique. Wait, I don't get this. So he's put makeup on. That's not gonna hide your tattoos, man. That's not gonna fucking hide your tattoos. What difference is that gonna make? We shall see very soon. On me rapproche justement de mon de mon obsession pour les vampires. Sinon j'ai le split tongue, ça fait longtemps que j'y pense aussi. You're actually fucking joking. You want to get your tongue split? Oh my god. That your boyfriend would be fucking. Oh shit. If you got your tongues, oh my god, imagine that to a female's advantage. Bloody hell, be like a fucking vacuum cleaner. Euh, je suis prêt à prendre des risques pour mon look, ça c'est clair. Mais euh, d'aller justement jusqu'à brimer ma santé, euh, non. Before I start playing the video again, he's got fucking crucifix on his wall. And the, law, the one thing I learned from high school and or being Catholic, right, is that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So putting anything on your body, doing anything to your body, is basically disrespecting your body, the temple. Now why the fuck am I talking about religion on this channel? I don't need to. But I'm just saying, I mean... As long as he's respectful and he treats people nicely, I don't see the problem with how he dresses and how he looks. On est prêt. Yes. Mon copain c'est Esteban. Le petit casse. On se complète énormément. Les deux on trip euh, maquillage. I makeup, I really do. I really want to try some, but the problem is right. These hands ruin everything for me. They really do. So. If anyone wants to volunteer to do my face, fill the makeup before every single video, please hit me up on my email. Les deux ont trip transformation. Euh, puis comme aujourd'hui, il fait extrêmement beau, fait que c'est sûr et certain si c'était notre idée d'aller faire un shooting à l'extérieur. Hey, rock that look! Rock that fucking look! If I saw people discriminating others, I'll fucking go to them and say you're a piece of shit. Get out of my face. You're a low life. That's exactly what I would say. That's, that, that's literally what I would say to racists, transphobics, biphobics, basically anyone who discriminates. I would be fucking horrible to them and I could even punch them in the face because that's how I feel. I'm very passionate, right? And I hate people who discriminate. And that might be contradictive because... I did point out a few things and made a few jokes. He's happy, I'm happy, and you guys should be happy. Otherwise, I'm going to your house and fucking knocking the shit out of you. Okay, that, yeah, that, that, that was intense. Mais j'ai pas, j'ai jamais regretté honnêtement. Puis je me souviens de la première journée que je me suis fait tatouer mon premier tatouage dans le visage. La seconde que le tatouage était fini, je me sentais ultra bien. That's not fair. Why does everyone look better than me? It doesn't make sense. I need plastic surgery. I really do. Ma confiance avant, ma confiance maintenant. Je me sens explosif. He's right there. By dressing up and going outside like that, you are actually giving yourself a confidence boost. And the thing, the one key to this is not to give a flying fuck. Now, I do it myself with other things, 
And I don't give a fuck, right? If people look at me differently, yeah, 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 that's fine. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, press the subscribe button, possibly turn on the post notifications, you lazy twats. And comment down below what you thought of this video. I am so sorry if I haven't uploaded that much recently, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to post as many reaction videos as I can throughout the week. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next couple days. Peace out.